What's up everyone, Eli here, back for a, a new stuff video. Um, a, a very cool one and kind of a special one too. Um, most of the things here were actually gifts from a few friends. Just coincidental. Um, you know, I don't, it's not something that happens every day by any means, but uh, the timing couldn't have been more perfect. Um, I don't, <laughs> I've been going through some things that have kind of like been draining me of my extra cash, you know, so to speak. So, um, you know, makes it that much more appreciated. Uh, but yeah, lots of different stuff here. Um, even some, uh, even some albums that I've been sent uh, to review uh, by a, a record label that has actually sent me albums before. So I guess they thought um, I at least did a, a passable job on on promoting their stuff. Um, uh, you know, I've said it many times, or at least several times on here, I am trying to work on doing more reviews. It's always something that I wanted to do on this channel. Um, I have a lot of experience reviewing albums more in the, you know, like blog format, <laughs> uh, which I've always been better at. But, uh, you know, nobody really, with metal at least, uh, nobody seems to really blog anymore. It's all about the, the, the YouTube stuff, which I'm fine with. It's fun. But uh, yeah, lots of different things, and uh, we'll just get started. Um, we'll start off with this. Uh, when I saw this at Target uh, last week, I couldn't, uh, I, I could not get it. Um, I have a few of these toys already, but this one was just cool. Um, uh, this is the you know the the villain from a series of movies. There's like four of them now. I mainly just kind of like the first one, but it's I mean they're fun regardless. We have uh, Victor Crowley from the movie Hatchet. Uh, the NECA Toonie Terrors. Um, NECA, as you know, if you collect, you know, toys or whatever, they always do a bang-up job. Um, yeah, like I said, really love the first Hatchet movie. I've yet to really been, you know, be able to get into any of the other ones, but uh, <clears throat> I still have them, and I'll still watch them uh, on occasion. But the first ones, it's um, highly unoriginal, but I think that's kind of the point. Um, it's a fun movie, to say the least. So I yeah, had to get that. I didn't exactly expect to see Victor Crowley among, you know, the Pinhead and uh, Ash from Evil Dead and Jason Voorhees, etc. So, very cool. Um, <clears throat> so, I got a gift from our good buddy uh, Rick from the Dreadful Minutes. Thank you so much, Rick. Um, I will work on getting some more stuff sent out your way. I know that's not at all why you do this, but still, I like to reciprocate uh, gifts, of course. Um, start with the uh, cassette. Uh, really happy he sent me this one because I had really, really wanna or been wanting to get my hands on it, and I just haven't had the means to get it. Um, this came out late last year uh, on Rotted Life Records. Um, I have this band's demo that came out a couple years back. Um, as soon as I, uh, you know, saw that they had a full length out, I was like, God damn, I gotta get that. I've listened to it once already. I listened just online, and it is killer. Um, I'm going to say this is probably my favorite death metal album from 2020. Uh, so we have the debut full length from Vrenth out of California with Baptism Death. Uh, Vrenth is basically all the same guys as, uh, Ruin, you know, Ruin death metal out of California. Uh, there's like one guy in Vrenth that's not in Ruin. So it's almost the same band. Just nice black pro tape. This is my first release from Rotted Life. Um, I have been meaning to to place an order with them as they're kind of an up and coming you know death metal label, um, and as you can see they do really nice work, great J card. Yeah, so definitely check out Vrenth. Um, if you like Ruin, well Vrenth uh, don't really sound that much like Ruin, which is cool because. <laughs> It's not one of those cases where, you know, dudes from whatever band start a new band and that new band sounds exactly like their old one. Um, Ruin is still very active, of course, but uh, Vrenth is a different animal entirely. As, as to where Ruin is just your total autopsy, cyanide worship, maybe it's Splash of Impetigo. Uh, Vrenth is basically kind of the opposite end of, you know, like the death metal spectrum. <clears throat> Vrenth is more... It's still very much old style, traditional death metal, um, but with more, a little bit more melody, and uh, I don't know if I don't know if I want to say more technical, but not as straightforward and basic as Bruin. Um, dare I say, a little bit more melodic, a lot more, a um, lot of 
you know, guitar solos and stuff like that. Um, really, really, really good. I think I made my point. Um, he also sent me this uh, second or third album. can't remember. This came out a couple years back on Profound Lore. We have uh, uh, Fuoco Fatuo out of Italy. Uh, really great Doom Death embossed logo. You can only see it if you get it in the right lighting. Lighting. Uh, album is titled Backwater. Okay, but it's not on the front. It says, yeah, Backwater on the back. So yeah, I've listened to this twice already. Um, just really good Doom Death. You know, if you like, I don't know, um, if you like Morgian and uh, um, Evoken, I think you could uh, definitely get in uh, this band. Listen, like I said, only twice already, and they're they're they're. I think there's only four tracks here, all really long songs. I think most of them clock in at over ten minutes. Um, yeah. Uh, if you like Doom Death, I know the Metal Archives um, has them listed as Funeral Doom. Um, I, I wouldn't completely agree with that. Uh, I don't know, maybe the earlier stuff was more Funeral Doom. I think there's definitely some Funeral Doom elements, but I would just call it more of a Doom Death. But whatever, that's fucking, uh, you know, grasping for straws. But uh, yeah, he also sent me this. I, I know nothing about this band at all, which is always fucking cool. I mean, who doesn't like checking out a new band? Especially just going in totally blind. I and mean, clearly it's a prog album. Um, I've never heard of Apollon Records. <clears throat> Apollon Records. Prog. It's cool. Um, mythopoeic. Mythopoeic Mind with Mythopoetry. Like I said, I don't know anything about the band or the label for that matter, but it's clearly some sort of prog. Um, is it prog metal? Is it, you know, 70s style prog rock? Who knows? I'll get around to it soon, though. And I'm, you know, I'm a big prog fan, so <clears throat> it'll be fun. He also sent me some comic books. I, I think he mentioned to, uh, I think he mentioned to, uh, these to me once, if I if I remember correctly. Um, you know, I'm a big John Carpenter fan. Um, yeah, big fan of this movie. Uh, who doesn't love Big Trouble in Little China? Um, so some years back, Boom Studios, which is a really good comic label, by the way, did, uh, I don't know how many comics were in the series. It's got the mighty Eric Powell on, uh, definitely on the cover art. I don't know if he drew the interior art. Um, it looks like his art, but I think it might be someone else. Um, sorry guys, I'll, uh. Artist, yeah, no, no, uh, Brian Chirilla. But yeah, er oh, Eric Powell wrote it. Eric Powell is a great artist. I didn't know, yeah, I guess I, I guess I did know he did some writing. He 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 drew and wrote uh, The Goon, uh, which is a, a cult you know, comic uh, series. Uh, yeah, so the artwork looks like this. It's kind of Eric Powell-esque, but a little different. Needless to say will be fun to read. He also sent me issue two. Like I said, I don't know how many issues are in this series. Probably not a lot, though, and I definitely want to get the rest. So another Eric Powell version cover art. Um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I can't wait to read those. And he also sent me this. Um, probably catching on that I'm a fairly big Batman fan, especially old Batman stuff. Um, this is from back when Chuck Dixon... Uh, was was working on Batman, and um, for me, you know, one of the more memorable people to work on Batman comics. This is, however, a Robin spinoff, which I don't think I have any Robin spinoffs. So Robin, the Joker's wild, cool hologram cover. Haven't cracked that one open yet, but he also sent me because I do have this on CD, but I didn't have it on vinyl, which I thought that I did, but I went and looked, and I. I certainly don't. So really cool to have this. One of my favorite prog albums of all time. Definitely my favorite Yes album. A bit fragile. Um, very heavy. Uh, this is just a mandatory prog classic. Um, anytime anyone's going to name, let's just say, 10 prog albums, you know, 9 out of 10 times this album's going to be on that list. Uh, it's gatefold. Nothing special on the inside, but... Uh, God damn, is it a classic album? Obviously, it's got the you know the song "Roundabout," which even if you're not a Yes fan, you know that song and you probably fucking dig it. 
Um, that's that's how good of a song it is. And he also sent me another thing that I've also had on CD for years, but 1973's Prague classic, Genesis, selling England by the pound. Prime era, you know, Peter Gabriel fronted Genesis. One of their best albums. Uh, many people would argue this is their best album. Uh, is not my favorite, but that's so hard to say because I love the majority of Genesis albums. There are <laughs> there aren't very many that I don't like, and there aren't many that I don't think are top notch. And this is definitely in that phase, that period of time when they were just untouchable and on fire, and just kind of slowly becoming one of the best bands the world would ever see. Um, yeah, fantastic album. Yeah, it's not a double vinyl. It is. I thought it was a double CD, though. No, that wouldn't make sense. Why would it be two CDs if it's... It might be. Anyways, I don't remember for sure, but I, I've had the CD for years, but it's really, really nice to have this classic album on vinyl, of course. Um, while we're at it... So... Uh, my co-worker and friend as well... Um, who is in the you know the great death metal band Senient Divide? He has a number of other projects that he does as well, and this is a black metal band that he started a couple years back. Finally, they uh, released their first album. It's called Grand Invocation. Well, that's the name of the band. Album is called Ogdra. Ogdra. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you can get this tape on Expansion Abyss. Very cool up and coming kind of black and death metal label out of uh, California. As you can see, they did a pretty bang up job. This is the first thing I've had from Expansion of Abyss, so definitely cool to uh, very way to very very great way to you know kick off uh, off my you know my experience with it with a new label. Um, sadly, I have not gotten around to listening to this uh, to this tape yet, but I will soon. And when I do, I will talk more about it. Maybe I'll do a review. I'll at least I'll do something to talk about it. <clears throat> All right. And last but not least, uh, we have the metal label out of Poland, uh, Defense Records. Um, they have sent me stuff for review before, and this is the second time they've done so, which is very humbling, I guess. I mean, we all know what European shipping is like. Um, it's not cheap. Uh, so for them to, you know, pay for the shipping, you know, pay out of their pocket to ship me stuff is is very, very, very cool of them. Um, so most of these are from the Defense Record label, but they sent me a few promos from uh, Self Made God Records, which is um, kind of one of the more popular, you know, underground metal labels in Poland. So yeah, very fucking cool. I think just these two were from Self Make God. So I've only listened to a few of these. So don't get me wrong, I'm not, you know, I'm not getting lazy. I know some people don't like when I show stuff that I haven't listened to yet. But keep in mind, this is not a review channel. Um, this is just a showing stuff channel. Yes, I, I you know I am working on doing more reviews and, and I'm going to review all these. So after I review them, probably take me at least a few weeks, maybe a month. Then I'll come back and I'll, I'll show them again and talk about them. There's quite a few, so I'm probably not going to review them all at once. Um, I'm thinking maybe two or three at a time. So we have death metal band Terror Drum. Straight out of Smog Town. Some pretty cool cover art there. So yeah, like I said, this is a promo from Self Made God. Uh, Self Made God is a good label. I mean, they've put out stuff by like Incoffination. Um, Agothocles, you know, they put out some really cool shit, so. There's the CD. There's the back. Some more cool artwork on the inner panel there. Nice booklet. Um, yeah. The, I, I, I don't think I've ever owned anything from Self Made God, so. Very cool. Uh, I've known of the label for a long time, but it's cool to finally, you know, have something from them. All right, and I think this is the other self-made God release. Death metal band, I think death metal band. Um, <laughs> I, you know, like I said, I haven't listened to all these yet, but uh, 
Dira Mortis. Ancient Breath of Forgotten Misanthropy. Cool cover art there. Most of these bands are out of Poland, but not all of them, so. Feel free to, you know, go online, check them out. If anything, you know, at least catches your interest. Like I said, I'm working on listening to these. It's going to take me some time. But I just wanted to show them off for now. That way you can get a head start. You, if anything catches your eye, you know, you can go check it out. Probably listen to any of these here on YouTube, maybe Spotify. <clears throat> uh, next, so now this is all defense record stuff. No, uh, Nita, Nida, I'm not sure. This is a, like a, kind of a death grind, uh, maybe like brutal death metal with a little touch of grind core. R-A-K, not sure what that stands for. <clears throat> it's pretty good stuff. This is one of the albums I, ha I have listened to. Um, yeah, if you like, you know, uh, I don't want to say modern brutal death metal. Just just to say brutal death metal, you know, with a little bit of just a little bit of grindcore in there. This is uh, really good, actually. Uh, quite liked it. This next band, I believe it's death metal as well. Uh, Poland, I think. If I remember correctly, we got Death Spawn with Reverendus. Very nice booklet as well. <clears throat> this is the back panel. If anyone's heard any of these albums, or if you go and check some out and you beat me to the punch, let me know what you think. I'm sure they'd like appreciate some feedback and all that, other than just my own, of course. And we got Iscariota, Iscarius, Iscariota. I'm gonna call it. Um, <clears throat> kind of a long-running band out of Poland as well. Legenda. More of a basic, uh, more of a basic uh, booklet. Let's see. <clears throat> so one thing that I've always told myself when I do reviews, I'm not going to, how would we put this? I'm not going to sugarcoat things. Um, I just, that wouldn't be honest and I don't believe in that shit. So I want to get around to listening to these if, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to give them an, and I did it the last time they sent me stuff. Um, if there's something I'm not really into, I'm, I'm going to give my honest opinion. I'll say, you know, I'll tell you I'm not real into it. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I know that's why a lot of people don't want to do reviews because it's, it's hard to, <clears throat> at least I think it is. I think it's hard to criticize something that was sent to you very generously for free. Um, but needless to say, you know, you have to, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta keep your integrity. And that's one thing that I strive for. Um, like I said, I might not have done a lot of reviews on this channel, but I've done many uh, reviews on blogs. So it is it is something I, I quite like doing. I would rather write a review than, you know, record a, a video review. But like I said, no one really, you know, in the metal world, nobody really blogs anymore. Nobody reads blogs. So as sad as that is to admit, this is kind of the new way of... Uh, I'm not going to say, you know, writing reviews is dead. Of course, people still do that, but I don't know. Blogging, oh, yeah, I don't know. So this is another band, I, I think, out of Poland. Uh, Hamathaz? Hamathaz? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. With the one, this album's called. <clears throat> Uh, I really am stoked to listen to these. I've only listened to like two so far, but uh, yeah, it's exciting, you know. <clears throat> just got a couple more guys. Hang in there. 
It's an endurance test. I know you can do it. All right, and this is Insertus with uh, Predestination to Damnation. It's a nice cover art there. Simple booklet. Uh, pretty simple presentation on this one. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's the music that counts. And last but not least, this is the other album out of this uh, stack that I have listened to already. Um, this is an EP, thrash metal band out of Italy, and I, I actually quite liked this one. This band is called Ireful, with uh, The Walls of Madness. Pretty cool cover art there. So yeah, thrash metal band out of Italy, like I said. I would call this, <clears throat> it's definitely old school thrash. Maybe a slightly modern uh, production, but the everything on here is just screams 84 to 87 thrash metal. Um, specifically, I'd say the Bay Area, the, the heavier bands out of the Bay Area. Um, I would say like Possessed, uh, Dark Angel, although Dark Angel I think were from the LA area, but yeah. <clears throat> early Possessed, Early Dark Angel, um, maybe like that first Death Angel album, maybe the first Exodus album, if you like stuff like that, I think this would really please you. Um, it's just a short EP, I think four songs, something like that, but it's, it's good. Um, if you don't want a CD, and if you don't want to get a CD ordered out of Poland, uh, you can actually get this on cassette from Life After Death Records. Uh, they put out 100 tapes. So if you'd rather have a tape, and you're a thra old thrash guy, you, know, you might want to look into this one. Uh, so anyways, that's all I got for now. Um, <clears throat> let me know if you have heard any of those. And like I said, um, you know, I know I just showed a bunch of stuff uh, that, I, that I haven't listened to yet. You might think that's dumb. I don't know. Um, like I said, I'm going to listen to those, uh, and I'm going to come back with reviews. So probably two or three at a time. It might take me a month. Um, I'm very slow when it comes to reviews. I like to take my time. I have stuff on my list to review already that that's, uh, in front of those. So it's, it's going to be a little while, but when, you know, once I get them fully soaked in, uh, I'll come back and talk more about them. But like I said, until then, if you've heard any of those, let me know. Um, definitely check out, you know, my buddy's band, Grand Invocation. If you like, uh, if you like, you know, Finnish black metal, Sargeist and, uh, uh, the Hex and stuff like that, I think this would scratch that itch. And, uh, I really appreciate you, uh, for those of you that have made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Cheers, and, uh, we'll talk soon. Louis says hello. He's in my room taking a nap. See you guys.